another tutorial how to create Minecraft 2D. In this tutorial, I will uh, show you what I did with. Uh, oh, don't mind the clouds, by the way. I'm still working on that. Uh, but what I did with the sun. So we have a nice sun here, and when the night rises, a moon will appear, and the night sky will be full of stars. Uh, it's not really like the same thing as the Minecraft stars. I just uh, found a nice uh, wallpaper of uh, stars on uh, Google, so I thought, hey, why not, you know? So now it's daytime again, and the sun is bright. Uh, I think it looks looks pretty nice. I mean, you can tweak it whatever you want, but uh, yeah. Also, the clouds are still a thing, like I said. A thing I need to uh, work on, but I think they're they are. It's it's going the right way. Oh, and by the way, the moon. Every night the moon uh, changes a uh, face, so uh, it has uh, six or eight different faces. I can't remember, but um, every time the moon will have a different sprite every day that passes, and. Um, by doing that, we can also count the days of uh, our beautiful Minecraft world. So yeah, see, now it's a uh, half moon, something like that. I think it looks pretty cool, and let me show you how I did this. So in our uh, sprites, we're going to go to background, and we're going to add a moon sprite, which is... 256 by 256 with the origin centered and it will have these uh, different sprites now you can just find these sprites by going uh, I put them uh, right here uh, you just download the regular minecraft resource folder from uh, from Google just from Google and you go to environment and here you will see the moon faces see it's exactly the same uh, you will also find the sun here uh, now what we are gonna do with these black sprites is we are gonna uh, change the blend mode to BM add BM underscore add which will make sure that the uh, image will be added to the background <clears throat> that's why we will only see uh, the colored sprites and not the black sprites all right great um, same thing with the Sun the Sun has a centered origin sprite of 256 by 256 and this will uh, be the Sun and then you will need a um, sprite which is just basically the uh, stars background uh, yeah I think it looks pretty cool you can make one yourself as well uh, I just found this one ad on Google. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our object background and we're going to go to the create event. And here we will see that uh, we have a day and night cycle settings uh, like this. Uh, this is just for a test uh, thing. I mean, you can uh, put the trends to 10 and, or 1, don't care. And then you can say the time cycle uh, like uh, this one, which is actual 20 minutes. Uh, like I said in the previous tutorial about the day and night cycle. Okay. And here we see the begin positions of the sun and the moon. So uh, I will create a variable moon x, moon y, sun x, sun y, uh, trends to night and trends to day. So this will be the trends uh, transition. And it will obviously, obviously be uh, both false because we haven't have we haven't we don't have a uh, transition at the moment when this object background is created. I'm sorry for my uh, bad grammar sometimes. Uh, and here we will see that the moon image index uh, is the moon face, half moon, full moon, etc. So the index will be zero first. And here we will see the global day. So here we see a day encounter, which is uh, can come in handy for later stats uh, like uh, option and then statistics, player statistics, something like that, you know. Um, just a nice uh, add on. 
and here we see that the global knight is false and we will use this for spawning mobs later in the game all right and the stars alpha will al also be zero uh, now i created a step event and uh, the sun x the moon y sun x and sun y will have this position which is basically the same as the uh, uh, create position because we need to do this uh, whenever uh, the trends to night is false or trends to day is false so uh, both of these uh, functions will not happen so we gotta fall back to our basic position here uh, now if our transition to the night is true then we want to change the X position and Y position of the Sun and the Moon uh, by looking to the uh, variable global alpha and that is why you can see uh, the moon and the sun change of position they go from the bottom left to the center or from the center to bottom right and then the sun and the moon will change and then uh, the transformation transition to the day will happen so this is uh, just slightly different uh, I think the only thing that happened here is the moon x and moon moon x and sun x are uh, changed uh, same as the amount here uh, I don't know why I have 44.4 uh, um, it was a glitch that the moon wasn't centered exactly in the center of our uh, x view so I had to adjust it with 44.4 I have I have no idea why so still gotta figure out maybe how we can fix this but I think this looks fine uh, even though we have to add a small uh, change yeah so uh, here this is for the cloud so you can add this or you can't add this uh, you can change it I don't I don't know I just still have to figure out what the exact uh, settings are for the clouds uh, stuff like that all right now uh, I have said a few alarms here uh, and in these alarms we will go through the day and night cycle now we I add this so the stars alpha is the same as 0.5 plus random 0.5 so that means that the background the stars background will be different every night and I think that that's pretty realistic I mean it's not like you see a bright a star sky every night so I thought this is a nice add-on and the moon index will be plus one here and here the day will be plus one and night time will be false because now we are going to alarm two and as you can see alarm two is going to daytime so one day will be added to our global day variable now uh, let's go to our alarm one so this is going to night time so here obviously trans night is true and trans day is false because we are going to the night time so we need a night transition and uh, yeah only this is the what I change here the same thing here only this thing here only just a different because we are going to the daytime so we need the transition day to be true and transition night to be false now in our draw event I just added this like I said we are going to change the blend mode to bm underscore add and then we are going to change our stars our moon and our sun uh, we don't really need to make this a bm add uh, I think it will work if you just place this one here but I don't know let's uh, keep it this way <laughs> to be sure you can find that yourself you can find out yourself sorry so uh, the moon and the sun will be added because these are black sprites so we gotta like add them you know so yeah I think that was basically it uh, yeah and if you did that then you will see a beautiful day and night transformation and like I said the BM ad looks absolutely amazing because the Sun will be added to our beautiful background and it looks neat in the desert biome in my opinion my opinion so also with torches it still looks awesome so make sure to like subscribe if you haven't and stay posted for more tutorials uh, you can follow me on twitter 
Uh, I'm not always online, but uh, sometimes I place a tweet uh, on where the next episode will be, when the next episode will be. So you can uh, you can check them out as soon as I upload it. I think I think the clouds look pretty cool though. Maybe I keep it this way. I don't know. Uh, guys, see you at the next uh, episode. Stay tuned.